Tate Modern's current exhibition is the first major Liechtenstein retrospective in 20 years. Coming onto the art scene at the height of abstract expressionism, his work seeks to explore the meaning of art in the age of increasing mass reproduction. Readily admitting that brushstrokes in painting convey a sense of grand gesture, the artist, renowned for his works based on comic strips and advertising imagery, went on to correct that, in my hands, the brushstroke becomes the depiction of a grand gesture. His paintings of large, sweeping, dripping brushstrokes from the mid-1960s were, for him, merely representations of a means of representation. Lichtenstein's breakthrough work, career-wise, was the 1961 Look Mickey, which was based on an illustration in a children's book owned by his sons. Copying and scaling up the comic strip picture, he sought to mimic the cheap look of the original by misaligning outline and infill, using three simple colours and reproducing the Bende dots. Abstracting still further, he also flattened the tones and used graphic lines for the water instead of gradations of blue. Lichtenstein's best-known works are those drawn from teenage and adult comic books, telling tales of war and romance, from which he selected, condensed and simplified what were to become iconic images. He said that he was interested in using highly charged material in a removed, technical and almost engineering drawing style. Nonetheless, although far from being mere replicas of the originals, the viewer might well query the authenticity of such close copy-making style and ask questions about the authorship and originality of the works. But Lichtenstein himself was angling to have such questions raised as he played with the media and style of mass reproduction in this new age of printing and advertising. Today, his pictures have been reproduced across the globe and there is a Lichtenstein image for every Valentine's and anti-Valentine's card imaginable, each, however, taking a tongue-in-cheek poke at the commercialisation of such sentimentality. Lichtenstein also worked in 3D, and his simple yet effective use of basic coloured dots to capture shadows can be seen on his glazed ceramic head with blue shadow, here set against some of his black and white works of functional and commercial objects, such as a tyre and a golf ball, early hallmarks of the new trend of pop art. Lichtenstein also made numerous paintings referring to other artists and artistic styles, again honing in on the fact that his work, ultimately, is art which itself examines art. The exhibition continues, taking us through Lichtenstein's experimentations with mirrors, abstract geometry and the age-old artistic quest to represent the nude. It ends up back where it began, with brushstrokes, now, however, combined with all these other elements he has explored and rejected. Ultimately, it concludes with a room inspired by Chinese landscapes, the series which he was working on when he died, unexpectedly, in 1997. Perhaps in a way, this was a good place for his journey to stop, having completed a full circuit through 20th century art history, then choosing to reject it all and step back to the seemingly simple, yet highly stylized genre of the Song Dynasty from the end of the first century AD, albeit capturing and reinvigorating it through the application of his simple yet effective Bende Dot. The exhibition runs at Tate Modern until the 27th of May.